A big building under construction in Sugar House caught fire last night. It's still burning this evening with demolition about to begin. Fox 13 News reporter Mythili Gooby spoke to neighbors who were evacuated from their apartments. She joins us live this evening from downtown Salt Lake. Mythili. No. Now, it was right across the street here from us that an, ap an apartment complex under construction caught fire last night. It became a four alarm fire. Now, fire crews do tell us they do expect to start demolition any time now to get rid of this structure and help people in the, re in the complexes nearby get home safe. Now, I spoke to residents who live nearby and they say there are feelings of fear, anxiety, but also gratitude that they made it out safely. Literally the scariest. Thing that I've ever experienced or been through just because we didn't really know. Like so Priya Harvey, residents in some time. apartment like, buildings in Sugar House were woken up around midnight and told to leave their homes because of a fire next door. Alarm blaring and someone banging on my door um, and it's a police officer and he just says, you know, we're evacuating the building, you got to get out, uh, put some shoes on and like go. So I was like, well, I, you know, do I get my cat? And they're like, it's a building next door to you on fire. Jeremy Paulson says he was around when the fire started late Tuesday night. A lot of smoke, a lot of ashes, just uh, a lot of people running around trying to get things under control. Molly Smith, who lives at Sugarmont Apartments, took her cat and rushed to get out of harm's way when she saw the flames. There, got some cat stuff, a toothbrush, and went to a motel. So this is my first time back. I was able to go inside and grab some stuff. Um, can't sleep there tonight, but my apartment looked fine, so I'm, I think we'll be able to get back in there pretty soon. Salt Lake City Fire says they are working to help get people back to their home soon. Um, if you're one of the residents in the area, we ask that you please be patient. Um, it is going to take a while. Uh, we are addressing uh, the, the issues that they're experiencing. Um, it's got to be extremely frustrating. Uh, the crews are working tirelessly to try and get them back into their units. We're working with the local agencies, uh, D Dominion, Rocky Power, um, and Salt Lake City Fire, uh, the, the City Water Works and all that. We're all working very closely trying to get everyone in. Red Cross has been a great asset for relocating some of those people. We're trying to get them food. We're trying to get them into their apartments so they can get belongings if they're not able to reoccupy right away. But residents who live nearby say they are thankful that they are safe. Well, that my cat is okay, I'm okay, um, my stuff's fine, and yeah, I'm just feeling lucky. Last night was a lot, but I mean, nothing really, really terrible happened to me, so yeah, and I'm really grateful for the first responders. They were awesome. They were everywhere. <laughs> Now, we don't know what exactly started this fire. Salt Lake City Fire does tell us it's too early to determine the cause. Federal investigators will be here to find out what happened and take those next steps. We'll update you as we learn more about this developing story at fox13now.com. Live in Sugar House, I am Maitri Gobi, Fox 13 News, Utah.